It's difficult to measure and compare the power of the world's many nations. Beyond gross domestic product, most qualities are intangible, like fitness, culinary prowess, or fine arts. But military power is easier to quantify. Though there are fewer armed conflicts now than at any time in history, many of the world's superpowers are still racing to outperform their rivals. From massive naval fleets to intimidating nuclear stockpiles, we are counting down the top 10 most powerful countries by military power. After suffering terrible defeats in both of the world wars, Germany was reluctant to reintroduce a military program, as they struggled with larger issues of genocide and national identity. But now, more than 70 years later, the Northern European nation has started to beef up its militaristic presence all over the world. The country currently has a military presence in Kosovo, Afghanistan, Sudan, South Sudan, Syria, Iraq, and Somalia. Though Germany only spends 1.2% of its GDP on its military, it's still a force to be reckoned with. Of the nation of 80 million people, about 30 million citizens are fit for military service. It currently has 200,000 active and reserve personnel on hand. This in addition to an impressive arsenal of 714 military aircraft, 432 combat tanks, 4,600 armored fighting vehicles, 81 warships, and a healthy military budget of $45 billion. Though the Germans have had a more isolationist foreign policy in the last 50 years, increasing pressure from Russia, China, and the Middle East has caused the nation to rethink its military policies. Germany has abolished conscription and is concentrating, like other modern armies, on smaller specialist forces. Nonetheless, they are still a force to be reckoned with, making them number 10 on our countdown. Turkey has been in the news a lot recently for its controversial role in the fight against ISIS and the increasingly autocratic rule of its president Recep Tayyip Erdogan. After a failed coup in 2016, he's been on the offensive, arresting hundreds of thousands of Turkish citizens on false charges and becoming increasingly aggressive in the Middle East. And Erdogan has reason to feel confident, too. Last year, the Turkish armed forces had an estimated strength of 639,551 military, civilian, and paramilitary personnel. It's a large military, made possible by conscription. That is to say that every healthy Turkish citizen has compulsory military service when they turn 20. This nation of 80 million fills out its arsenal with over a thousand military military aircraft, 2,500 combat tanks, almost 10,000 armored fighting vehicles, 194 warships, and a defense budget well over $10 billion. In recent years, Turkey has spent more than the NATO target of GDP on its military. In 2015, it spent 2.29 percent. Erdogan's party, the Justice and Development Party, has worked to increase civilian control of the military since 2002, and the military's role in internal security has been reduced. Combine this with 7,200 kilometers of coastline and a strategic location between Europe and the Middle East, and you have the raw material for a serious military powerhouse, making Turkey number 9 on our countdown. Since 1947, Japan's constitution has forbidden the formation of a traditional military force. The country has maintained only a self-defense force, the mission of which has been to protect the Japanese mainland. Even within these limitations, the SDF has performed a paramilitary logistical role, supporting U.S. troops based in Japan in exchange for promises of protection. Some experts now see this dynamic shifting. Arguments for remilitarization or military normalization, as many proponents term it, have gained currency over the last two decades. Since 9-11, SDF forces have been deployed overseas for the first time to Afghanistan and Iraq. And of course, there's a constantly looming regional threat for Japan, China. In the last few years, the United States and Japan have orchestrated elaborate military exercises to send a message to China and North Korea that they are prepared in the case of an emergency. For a country with a population exceeding 125 million, Japan has more than 300,000 military personnel on hand. Add to this 1,508 aircraft, including 290 fighters, 679 combat tanks, 131 warships, and a defense budget of $44 billion, and Japan starts to look like an extremely strong military presence, earning them the eighth spot on our countdown. Living with the constant threat of nuclear provocation from its upstairs neighbor, South Korea has accrued an impressive military over the years, and who could blame them? At the end of the Korean War, which left both sides seriously wounded, relations with North Korea have only gone downhill. Created in 1948 following the division of Korea, the ROK Armed Forces is one of the largest standing armed forces in the world, with a reported personnel strength of 3,725,000 in 2016, with 625,000 active and 3.1 million reserve. The reason for this massive amount of reserve is that South Korea enforces mandatory military service for its nation of 51 million. South Korea's military forces are responsible for maintaining the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the state, but often engage in humanitarian and disaster relief efforts nationwide. And of course, they keep an eye on North Korea and its megalomaniacal dictator. 
The military has 1,500 aircraft, 2,600 combat tanks, 3,400 armored fighting vehicles, 166 warships, and a whopping defense budget of $40 billion. North Korea and surrounding superpowers would do well to stay on South Korea's good side. Its impressive military strength makes it number seven on our countdown. Once the world's greatest superpower, the United Kingdom has only a fraction of the military might it held 200 years ago. But one would be foolish to dismiss the country's current military standing. Consisting of the Royal Navy, the British Army, and the Royal Air Force, the United Kingdom's armed service represents one of the premier military forces in the world. With close to 400,000 active and reserve members, Her Majesty's Armed Forces measure as the 25th largest military body. The Commander-in-Chief of the military is the British monarch, currently Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, while the British Prime Minister maintains de facto authority. Under the Queen's domain are 832 aircraft, 227 combat tanks, 5,300 fighting vehicles, 76 warships, and an annual defense budget of $50 billion. Though they don't get the headlines, Britain has a military presence in more than 30 countries around the world, including Bahrain, the Falkland Islands, and Belize. The history of Britain's armed forces is almost parallel in stature of Britain itself. From the Napoleonic Wars, both world wars, to its more recent military efforts in the Middle East, the British military has proven to be a force worth reckoning. Many of the developments made in warfare over the last two centuries have been due to the ingenuity of the United Kingdom and its progression of engagement strategy and technological advances in weaponry. One can be sure that the fighting spirit and ability to adapt to change has allowed the United Kingdom to survive the test of time. France retains one of the most capable military forces in Europe. Unlike Britain, France retains a completely independent nuclear deterrent and an independent industrial base. It has its own indigenous ballistic missile submarines that carry French-designed missiles armed with French warheads. It also maintains its own air and land-based nuclear deterrent using French-based Mirage 2000N bombers and the ASMP missile. France also retains a formidable conventional military force of 388,000 troops. Add to this 1,200 aircraft, 406 combat tanks, 6,300 armored fighting vehicles, 118 warships, and a military budget of $40 billion, and you have the makings of a defense superpower. Though the French are the butt of many military jokes, their martial power is nothing to laugh about. Currently, France maintains the sixth largest defense budget in the world and the first in the European Union. France has the largest armed forces in size in the European Union. France also maintains the world's third largest nuclear deterrent behind Russia and the United States. The French Navy, which has its own nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, is larger and arguably more capable than its traditional British rival. The carrier operates a mix of Rafale fighters and Super Attendard strike aircraft. The French Navy also maintains six attack subs, three amphibious assault ships, and 21 surface combatants. Altogether, this makes France a force to be reckoned with. India's remarkable economic growth and newfound access to arms from abroad have raised the prospect of a major rearmament of the country. With the addition of several policy and organizational changes, India's efforts to modernize its armed forces will alter the country's ability to deal with critical security threats. The Indian armed forces have been engaged in a number of major military operations. The enormous nation of 1.2 billion people boasts a total military personnel of more than 4.2 million. Of these, more than 1.3 million are active military. Add to the equation 2,100 aircraft, 4,400 combat tanks, 3,100 armored fighting vehicles, 295 warships, and a defense budget of $47 billion. Most of the country's consistent conflicts involve their regional rival Pakistan, but if provoked, India would prove a worthy enemy for any nation on Earth. India has been in possession of nuclear weapons since 1974. Though they are not considered one of the five nuclear superpowers, they are one of only 10 nations on Earth to have a significant nuclear stockpile. Recently, a nation of impoverished farmers, China has been the economic juggernaut of the developing world. It's currently the second largest economy in the world after the US, and projections show that it could overtake them at any time. All this new money has contributed to some serious military might, which China is flexing with a vengeance. The People's Liberation Army, the official name of the Chinese Armed Forces, has a ground force with 975,000 personnel, about half of the PLA's total manpower of around 2 million. The reason for this incredible force is China's 1.4 billion strong population, the largest in the world. On top of this massive army, China has 3,000 aircraft, 7,700
700 combat tanks, 9,000 armored fighting vehicles, 714 warships, and a daunting defense budget of $151 billion. Technically, military service with the PLA is obligatory for all Chinese citizens. In practice, mandatory military service has not been implemented since 1949, as the People's Liberation Army has been able to recruit sufficient numbers voluntarily. All 18-year-old males have to register themselves with the government authorities, in a way similar to the selective service system of the United States. In practice, registering does not mean that the person doing so must join the People's Liberation Army. Through their hostile tactics in the South China Sea and autocratic rule of Hong Kong, Tibet, and Taiwan, China has made a great number of enemies, but they would do well not to anger the number three largest military superpower on Earth. NATO has dispatched four battalion-sized battle groups, one deployed in Poland and one in each of the three Baltic republics, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. The U.S. has also begun to bring back heavy armored units to Western Europe. The whole effort is prompted by the shock emanating from Russia's seizure and subsequent annexation of the Crimea and its continuing support for rebel groups in eastern Ukraine. If Moscow could tear up the rulebook of security in post-Cold War Europe by carving off a slice of Ukraine, as it previously did in Georgia, many feared the Baltic republics, also territory of the former Soviet Union, could be next. It's clear that Russia plays by its own rules and has little regard for its international reputation. In addition to a huge standing army, Russia has the most comprehensive cyber defense unit in the world. Because of the nature of the unit, it's difficult to know the true scope of their projects, but they have already disrupted major events for superpowers around the world. With a population of 142 million, Russia has 3.5 million military personnel, in addition to 3,900 aircraft, 20,300 combat tanks, 27,400 armored fighting vehicles, 352 warships, and a military budget of $47 billion. Add to this one of the biggest nuclear stockpiles in the world, and Russia is easily the second most powerful country on our countdown. Undoubtedly, the United States has a controversial foreign policy, but no one could deny their military prowess. Some consider them a global police officer, while others find them to be an international bully. Though it's much smaller than China or India, the nation of 300 million has more than 2 million military personnel. All of these are paid positions, and though they could invoke the draft at any time, the U.S. does not rely on a compulsory military service. The U.S. is also flush with weapons and technology. They control more than 13,000 aircraft, 6,000 combat tanks, 39,000 armored fighting vehicles, 415 warships, and a defense budget of $647 billion, far exceeding any other other country on Earth. From the time of its inception, the U.S. Armed Forces played a decisive role in the history of the United States. A sense of national unity and identity was forged as a result of the victory in the First Barbary War and the Second Barbary War. Of course, this sentiment is not universal, but it's clear that the U.S. isn't giving up its massive arsenal anytime soon. It easily clinches the title of the world's most powerful country by military power. <laughs>